If you want to watch a movie or you want to watch something on Amazon Prime or maybe listen to some music, you need three things. The TV, the audio video receiver, and the computer, and a universal remote. That's four things. The universal remote has a button that will turn on the TV in the upper left. In the bottom portion, the white buttons in the upper right. It's a it's actually a mute button. It turns on the audio video receiver and the computer you turn on with the on button, power button. While the computer is booting up, there's a button in the middle of the universal remote that says PC slash TV. You push that, the light in the upper right corner comes on to indicate that you are controlling the computer. Sometimes when you push that PC TV button, it brings up a menu that you don't need. And if it doesn't go away like it just did there, you can hit the exit button on the remote. Exit, exit button. Two buttons to the right of the PC slash TV button right here. When the TV goes to sleep, the best way to wake it up is to use one of the arrow keys right here. Just click that and the TV will wake up. On the left side of the computer desktop are the icons you can click on to get to Amazon for playing videos. That'll open up Google Chrome and take you to the Amazon watch list. The play a movie link will open up the movies in their folders with shortcuts that you can click on that uh, play them in Windows Media Player and it'll open media player also. And then the music link will open up Google Chrome and take you to the um, music page. And YouTube down below if you actually wanted to go to YouTube would do the same. To move around, there's a ball in the middle. It can move around the mouse pointer. In some pages, the, the arrow keys might scroll up or down or across on the page. Clicking on the mouse ball itself is the same as a left click, but if you need to click and drag, then you have a left click button up here and there's a right click button up here. So if you need to right click, like here to get a menu, you can do that. If you need to left click to get out of it. If you want to double click, you can double click the ball and the timing, you know, it might take a little practice to get the timing right. If you click too fast or too slow, it won't register it as a click, double click. You can also use the left button over here for that if you like. If you need to click and drag to move a window, it takes two hands, at least if you're as limited as I am. It takes two hands to do it. You just to use the other hand to hold that left button and then drag whatever it is around the, the screen. So I can't really demonstrate it while I'm holding the phone to do the video, but I think hopefully that's clear. So if I wanted to watch the movie, let's say David wants to see a Disney movie, click on, double click on play a movie. In that case I didn't quite get the double click. The first one was more like a click and drag. So I try again and then it goes. Alright, then I go find the Disney folder. Click on that. He finds 
whichever movie he wants. I can double click on that. It will begin to open it up. And then down here in the lower right, I click to make it full screen. And then I make sure I move the cursor away from the edge and just let it go and it will disappear and play my movie. And when my movie is done and David doesn't want to watch the rest of the credits, then I can click the arrow key on my Universal Remote and then start to roll the ball and I can go down here and take it out of full screen mode and I can hit the stop button. Hard to see. So I'm hovering for the stop right there. Hit the stop. And if I go go to library, it'll make the window smaller. I can see the other window if I wanted to pick another movie. Just click out onto the, the other window up here for a set, for example. Click on the next movie or whatever. Or if I'm done. I can just walk away, or close everything, and then walk away. If David wants to watch Wonder Pets or something on Amazon Prime, gotta go over to Amazon, double click, it'll open it up, then you just have to find the show and the season that he wants to watch, click on that. Let's say he wants season two of the Wonder Pets. Click on that and go find the show he wants, clicking until he sees one that he wants. Save the chameleon, save the platypus over on the right hand side. Click on the play link, and it'll start to play. And hit this to make it full screen. When he's done with that, go up here, just click the X to close the player, and if you want to, you can close the window or just walk away.